Kumusta kayo? Ating pag-aralan ngayon ang week 3 Solving Real Life Problems Involving Greatest Common Factor and Least Common Multiple of Two Given Numbers. In your previous lesson, you have experienced solving a word problem using the four-step plan. You have learned how to find what is asked in the problem, given how to use appropriate operation as well as making a model to help you visualizing the problem. You also learned the importance of checking of looking back to see if your final answer is justifiable and your solution is correct. This time, you will continue solving word problem to develop your critical thinking skills. After going through this lesson, you are expected to apply your learnings in finding the GCF and LCM through solving a real-life word problems involving GCF and LCM of the given numbers. And now, let us read and analyze the word problem below. Let us observe how it is solved using the four-step plan. Here is the problem. There are two bells in the school. The bell 1 is for the grade 1 to 3, while the bell 2 is for the grade 4 to 6. The bell 1 and 2 are rang, once every 30 minutes and the other or bell B at every 50 minutes. If they are rang together at 7 o'clock in the morning, at what time they will be next rang together for their recess? To understand what is us in the problem, the time that the bell rang together. What are the givens? Bell A are rang after 30 minutes. Bell B are rang after 50 minutes. And to plan, how will I solve the problem? By finding the LCM or least common multiple. To solve, how is the solution done? It can be through listing method. Multiples of 30, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. While 50, 50, 100, 150. Then, the LCM of 30 and 50 is 150. It can be through prime factorization. Factors of 30, 2 times 3, times 5. Prime factors of 50, 2 times 5, times 5. Kaya ang naging LCM nila ay 150. It can be through a model or illustration. 7 a.m. or 7 o'clock in the morning, sabay na tumunog ang bell 1 at bell 2. Bell 1 rang every 30 minutes and bell 2 rang every 50 minutes. Anong oras kaya tumunog uli ng sabay ang dalawang bells? Since the bell 1 rang at every 30 minutes and bell 2 is rang at 50 minutes, then the least number of minutes required for the two bells to be rung together is the LCM of 30 and 50. The LCM of 30 and 50 is 150. Therefore, the two bells will be rung together after 150 minutes or 2 hours and 30 minutes. Since 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes, 
both bells will be next rang at 7 o'clock in the morning plus 2 hours and 30 minutes and that is 9.30 in the morning. For learning test 1, solve the following problem using the forest step plan. Use the concept of GCF in its problem. Write your answer in your notebook. Sagutan natin ang number 1. Elaine has a rectangular gift wrapper that measure 30 cm by 25 cm. She wants to cut it into square sheets of same size to be used in her album. What is the possible measure of a square sheet side which will not have a leftover? Let us understand what is asked. Measure by square sheet. Given 30 centimeters by 25 centimeters. For plan, how will I solve the problem? By finding the GCF. For solution, how is the solution done? Using listing method. So, 30, factors of 30 is 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 5 times 6, while 25, factors of 25, 1 times 25, 5 times 5. So, the GCF of 30 and 25 is 5. So, the answer is 5 centimeters for learning task 2 solve the following problems using the four step plan use the concept of LCM in its problem write your answer in your notebook for problem number 1 a lighthouse 1 flashes its light every 15 minutes a lighthouse 2 flashes every 18 minutes. If the two lighthouses flash together at 1 o'clock in the morning, what time they will next flash together? To understand what is asked, time will next flash together. Givens, lighthouse 1 flashes every 15 minutes, lighthouse 2 flashes every 18 minutes. Plus together at 1 o'clock in the morning. To plan, how will I solve the problem? By finding the least common multiple of 15 and 18. For solution, how is the solution done? Using listing method. Ano ba ang multiples ng 15? Skip counting for 15. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, at marami pang iba. While 18, 18, 36, 54, 72, 90. Since nakita na natin na may parehong multiples, ito ay 90, stop na tayo. Then, 90 minutes is equal to 1 hour and 30 minutes. So therefore, 2.30 in the morning ang susunod na iilaw ang dalawang lighthouses. For learning task 3, solve the following problems using the 4-step plan. Use the concept of GCF or LCM in its problem. Write your answer in your notebook. There are always four bars of chocolate left when box of chocolate shared equally among 8, 10, or 12 children. Find the smallest number of chocolates in the box. To understand what is asked, Smallest number of chocolate in the box. Givens, 4 bars of chocolate left, 8, 10, or 12 children. To plan, how will I solve the problem? 
by finding the LCM. LCM of 8, 10, and 12. For solution, using listing method, multiples of 8, multiples of 10, skip counting lang para makuha ang multiples, and multiples of 12. Anong common multiple ng 8, 10, and 12? Marami. Pero ano yung pinakamaliit na ating makikita diyan? Yes, 120. So, 120 plus 4, yan yung 4 bars of chocolate left, equals 124 chocolates. So, the answer is 124 chocolates. When 135, 111, 87 is divided by a certain number, find the largest possible value of this number. Choices are A11, B12, C13, D15. Para makuha ang largest possible value of this number, ating gagamitin ang GCF or Greatest Common Factor. For solution, 135 minus 3 equals 132, 111 minus 3, 108, 87 minus 3 equals 84. Then, kunin natin ang GCF ng 132, 108, and 84. Using continuous division. Ano ba makakadivide sa 132, 108, and 84? Simulan natin sa mas mababa. And that is 2. 132 divided by 2 equals 66. 108 divided by 2, 54. 84 divided by 2, and that is 42. Ano makakadivide sa 66, 54, and 42? And that is 2. 66 divided by 2 equals 33. 54 divided by 2 equals 27. 42 divided by 2 equals 21. Meron pa ba makakadivide sa 33, 27, and 21? Yes, and that is 3. 33 divided by 3 equals 11. 27 divided by 3 equals 9. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. Meron pa ba makakadivide sa 11, 9, and 7? Wala na. Kung ganon, i-multiply lang natin ang 2, 2, and 3. 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12. Means to say, the largest possible value of this number is 12. The answer is letter B. Maraming salamat sa inyong pananood. Pwede kayong mag-like, mag-comment, at i-share ang ating mga videos. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para updated kayo para sa ating mga bagong videos. Hanggang sa muli! Palam!